Hello and welcome to the Vesta Trader video tutorials. In this video, you'll learn how to review the major currency exchanges, analyze a chart in several angles, use the Fibonacci numbers feature, change the look and feel of a chart, add indicators to a chart. Starting from the application's main window, we'll scroll to the top left and click on the small icon with the green plus sign. A drop-down menu will now open with all the major and minor currency pairs. Clicking on one of the trade options will create a small chart previewing the statistics for the trade. Move a chart by clicking your mouse on any of the far edges of a chart and dragging it to the direction of your choice. Close a chart by clicking on the X located on the top right of the new window. To preview all the stock exchanges we have on the system, Click on the small icon with the red X. Click on any name to be redirected to the home page of the chosen exchange. Here you will be able to find all the listed stocks on the exchange and use them in VestaTrader. Now, let's understand how charts work and how to extract the information you need easily. As mentioned in one of our past videos, red candles represent a negative direction during the chosen trading day, week, or month, and green represents a positive direction. To get stats, simply hover over the area you want to get information from and click and hold your mouse. A small window will open above the area you are clicking on with all the information on that specific location. You can also make the small window static by clicking on the small icon located to the left of the zoom option on your chart. Move the window around by dragging it to the location of your choice. You will find the different quotes on the far right of the chart. Click and hold your mouse on the quote area and move it up and down to enlarge or reduce the range of quotes. Now, let's see what other ways there are to review charts. Clicking on the plus sign on the top menu will create a crosshair, which could be used to target a specific location. Use the crosshair by hovering to the location of your choice and clicking your mouse to stop. Change the color of the crosshair by clicking on Chart and then on Colors. Locate the crosshair color option and change the color by selecting it from the color palette. Similarly, you can come back and change colors of multiple options. If you want to set this change to All Charts, tick the Apply to All Charts option. To complete, click OK. To remove the crosshair, simply click on the red X located on the top of the chart. Inspect a chart horizontally by clicking on the line icon. Hover your mouse to the location of your choice and then click to complete. Move the line to a different location by clicking on the blue square and dragging it up or down. Let's click the vertical line. This option will allow you to scroll through the chart and focus on a specific date. Clicking on the diagonal option will allow you to create a line from one point to another by clicking and dragging the circles. There are two more options that you may encounter on a chart, dividends and split. As you can see, in some stock charts you will have a representation of the dates that dividends were paid out. In other cases, you may see a split. For instance, if a company splits at a ratio of 2 to 1, it means that you get one additional stock for every one stock you own. A split of 1 to 2 is a reverse split and would mean that you get half as many stocks but at twice the price. Clicking on the small icon with the letter F will allow you to create a flexible graph based on the Fibonacci numbers. Create a chart by clicking on the location you want to start and then drag the circle on the far right or left and drag it to the top. You can also move the graph sideways by clicking on the top circle and moving it. You will now be able to view the calculation based on Fibonacci numbers. View the chart over the progress of a day, week, and month by clicking on the corresponding options. Change the chart graphics easily by clicking on the different graphic icons. Easily zoom in and out using the magnifying glass icons. 
When zooming in, you could also move the chart to the right and left by clicking on the corresponding arrows. You could also scroll to the bottom of the chart, click the blue bar, and drag it to the left or right. Add indicators to your chart by clicking on the indicator icon. An indicator is a mini chart, which follows a specific pattern that you can set in the indicator window. As you can see, there are plenty of indicators to choose from. To select an indicator, click on it and then on the Add Indicator button. Your selected indicator will now appear in Added Indicators. Follow the same steps if you need to add more than one indicator. To remove an indicator, click on the Remove Indicator button. The options of each indicator will appear under Parameters. Since each indicator has different parameters, we won't be going over them in this video. To add an indicator to the chart itself, check the Add to Chart Panel option. Alternatively, you can leave it blank, which will place the indicator on the bottom of the chart. To change the indicator color, click on the Color Palette. To complete, click OK. As you can see, we have one indicator located on the bottom of the screen and the second on top of the chart itself. To remove an indicator, click on it and then on the red X. Thanks for watching.